lights about to be on. started with this video give it a thumbs up broski let's get it over 500 likes 500 thumbs up all right we have some dope nintendo switch news items for this video the first one bro we can start to get a glimpse of what the next nintendo switch will probably look like all right Let's get this out the way. It's a no-brainer. Nintendo is already working on their next-gen system. They do that every console cycle. As soon as they come out with a system, they're always coming out with new hardware. So, a more powerful Switch is in the works. It's happening. Nintendo's Nintendo not just like, you know what, we're, not, we're done. The Switch is our last system. We're good. They're working on another system. The big question is... What can be the potential of its power? Well, check this out, bro. Microsoft has just announced the Surface Pro X. Check out the specs on this system. The Pro X has micro Microsoft's SQ1 CPU-based Qualcomm Snapdragon. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to get to the gist of it in a second. Um... An integrated Adreno 685 iGPU, but the graphics processor is powerful enough to perform two teraflops of graphical computation. That is PlayStation 4 level right here in the palm of your hand. Bro, you know how big a PlayStation 4 is, bro? This is the Pro. All of this in the size of something, I mean, the, the of course, it's a tablet, but it's this thin. Tech, mobile technology is, I say this all the time, mobile technology is moving at a fast pace. Hardware, consoles, refresh every six or seven years. Mobile technology is being upgraded every single year, bro. And so, I'm, I'm estimating that whatever system Nintendo comes out next that's going to be handled, I think they need to stick with the Switch model. It's working for them. The system is selling like crazy. But my biggest pet peeve has been frame rates and resolution in some of the games. If Nintendo can get minimum... 60 frames per second, 1080p, I'm not complaining, bro. I'd be good to go. And so that's what I think Nintendo's going to at least target for their next um, system. 60 frames per second, a must for gaming. Um, and so this Microsoft um, Surface Pro gives us a glimpse of where mobile technology is heading. It's on the same pace of current-gen hardware. And so... Um, um, the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo is working on a new system, but the biggest thing is what's going to be the power of the system. And this new Surface Pro X gives us a glimpse of what is possible. And you have to consider this tablet is designed for multi-facets of things. Um, word processing, um, different things that um, PowerPoint presentations, all that stuff. But Nintendo system will be focused just on gaming. Bro, it's a wonder that this thin thing is like <coughs> a full console in, in itself. But power, the potential for even more power is there. And Microsoft has given us a glimpse of what is possible. And so it's a matter of time when Nintendo's going to come out, uh, officially announce their next gen. I think the Switch is selling so good. We're not going to hear anything 2020 about a more powerful Switch. Even with the um, uh, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Scarlet, the Switch is still going to kill it because it has the games. Nintendo's knocking it out the ballpark with software. 
2021 is when Nintendo's going to announce it, probably early 2021, and launch holiday 2021, or even as late as 2022, their next-gen Nintendo Switch. So, time will tell, but that's just the first news item. We have some more dope items for this video. Bro, this got me hyped! Mario Maker 2! Y'all remember this game? The game we all played for like three weeks, then boop, stop playing. They finally updated the game, and now we have online multiplayer with friends. Yes, it's about time. That was the biggest reason why I wanted to play Mario Maker 2. We can play online multiplayer with friends now. It just got patched in last night, tonight, tonight with the sponsors. I'm going to be playing Mario Maker 2. Uh, let's game together. I live stream on Twitch. Mixer and my YouTube gaming channel Obi-Wan Plays Gaming. I'm going to be live streaming at the same time all three channels We're going to be playing Mario Maker 2 and Fortnite with the sponsors become a sponsor join a dope Nintendo gaming community All right next news item Ball gamer, I want to be the very best like no one ever was don't 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 Pokemon news First we have two things Pokemon Sword and Shield will have 18 different types of gems. That's a lot of gems. And no HMs. And so, none of those, I think those were like, the, I, I know what they are. I can't describe it. Like the special abilities that you could use as items to, for your Pokemon. There will be no HMs in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um... According to the new issue of Game Informer, uh, they interviewed the developers of Pokemon and this has been confirmed. But well, wait, there's more. For the first time, Pokemon Sword and Shield brings auto-saving to the series. So, you know, because I, even in Pokemon Let's Go, I still haven't beaten that game. I beat an XY, Sun and, Sun and Moon, I made it all the way to the end. And my 3DS broke. I had a modded 3DS where I could capture footage and it broke. Don't mod your 3DS. It's a dead system anyway. So you don't even have to worry about it. Alright. But Pokemon Sword and Shield brings auto saving to the series. So you don't have to worry about saving every time you, you play. The game just automatically saves your progress. I'm thinking of something like Zelda Breath of the Wild. Speaking of Breath of the Wild, the game does have a huge open world. Um, environment to it. Um, I was asking dudes yesterday which version they were picking up. I'm probably going to be picking up Shield because I know everybody's going to pick up Sword. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get Shield. I'm gonna be different. Next news item. Now this one isn't necessarily Nintendo news, but this does impact Nintendo gaming. Sony is now allowing full crossplay on the PlayStation platform. Crossplay has moved out of the beta phase. Now it's up to developers whether or not they want to implement crossplay into their game. So expect pretty much most games moving forward to have crossplay. Um, Xbox is already on board. It was just Sony. Um, Call of Duty coming out in a couple weeks. That's going to have full crossplay for the first time. Most multi platform games going forward should, I say should, have crossplay. I think this is just good for gaming. All right, last news item for this video, Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest, the first sale numbers for Dragon Quest S for the Nintendo Switch have been released for Japan, the Famitsu charts, and it's at the top of the charts. I just downloaded the demo for the game because you could say your save progress will be carried over. After I beat Link's Awakening, Dragon Quest XI will be the next game, I, the next single player game. I, I beat Link's Awakening, Dragon Quest, Luigi's Mansion. Let's see if we can knock out Drag. I don't know if I'll be able to knock out Dragon Quest before October's over. I'm still grinding. I just got NBA 2K on the Switch. Hey, if you got 2K on the Switch, um, hit me up on Twitter. I'm a, I got to see your build, your record, and your um, your badges. What badges you got? And then we could probably run. All right. What do you guys think about 
Um, all of this news item, all these news items um, for this video, sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. <laughs>